Now Sports with Matt Berean. Bears baseball had won six straight against Evansville. That is, of course, before last night. In our Bear Nation report, Missouri State looking to bounce back from the walk-off yesterday to even the series today. But boy, did that mission look bleak early against the Purple Aces. Bottom fifth, Bears are down 7-1. Evansville seven runs in the frame, capped off by A.J. Fritz, doubling the right. Aces leading 8-1 halfway through, but then came the rain and with it the runs. Top six, two RBI singles and a bases loaded walk of Jack Duffy. That makes it 8-4. Top seventh, still plenty of work to be done down 9-4. Zimmerman takes the game over. Gets by short for the single. Dakota Katowski scores. Anthony Heron following suit. First to the plate on the slide, and we got a three-run game at 9-6. But Mason Hole says, why stop there? Same inning. He bloops a single to right center. Logan Gayha and MVP Zimmerman come home, give us a one-run game. Aces outfield really struggling to find the ball in the rain, and Heron exploits that advantage once more. Dead to rights on the pop-up. Evansville, though, can't make the play. Ben Whetstone scores a seven-run deficit up in smoke with just one thing left to do. Top nine, Zimmerman. Kiss that one goodbye. Missouri State rallies from down 8-1 to even the road series with an unbelievable 10-9 win over the Aces. Now, while the Bears still have four games before their conference tournament, the Jury Panthers played their third tournament game today, an elimination matchup with Quincy. And unlike MSU, it was Jury letting the lead slip. Panthers give up four runs the final two innings as they fall 11-8. They'll hope a 30-23 record is enough for a D2 tournament berth. Panthers were ranked sixth in the Midwest after the regular season. Top eight make the tournament. Now, after today's matchup with Northwest Arkansas, the Springfield Cardinals have played 35 games already. 14 of those. More than a third have been against the Naturals, but before yesterday, the road team had yet to win a single one. Today, Springfield looking to bounce back from that home loss. Started well. Bottom first, Randy Arozarena going to send one to deep center all the way to the warning track is where it comes down. An RBI double scores Justin Williams for a 1-0 lead. Next frame, however, things spiral quickly. Corey Peterson doubles on a fly ball to the left center. Travis Jones going to scoot home and it ties the game at one. Nick Heath says keep your doubles. He's more a triple guy. Peterson and Blake Perkins scoring thanks to that triple. But a bottom nine, Johan Miesek's grand slam sets up Connor Capel for the walk-off winner. Springfield winning this one 6-5. to five. Now on May 1st, the St. Louis Cardinals owned the best record in baseball at 20 and 10. Since then, Redbirds have lost seven of nine. Today, a chance to end the slump in a rubber match with visiting Pittsburgh. Now yesterday's game two was a low scoring affair ending in a 2-1 Pirate win. Similar storyline today. Bottom third, Paul DeYoung gets us started. Fly ball to right toward Gregory Polanco. Polanco can't make the catch. National League best double number 15 for DeYoung. Paul Goldschmidt scores 1-0 St. Louis. Next frame though, runner on first and Polanco redeems himself. A triple to deep right. Starling Marte scores, ties up this game at one. Next batter, Josh Bell. First pitch, base hit. Polanco scores and just like that, Pirates are in front. Stays 2-1 all the way to the bottom of the eighth. Bases loaded, Ozuna grounds out. Cardinals drop the game 2-1 as they fall 22-18 overall. As for the Royals, things didn't go much better. Top fourth, already down 3-0, Andrew McCutcheon up. He's going to ground toward Dozier, gets the force out at third, but the throw home off. Odebel Herrera scores 4-0 Phillies. Now in the sixth, same score, Mikel Franco singling through to shallow center. Herrera touches home once more for a 5-0 lead. Later in the, in the inning, McCutcheon back up. Grounds out again, this time nice play by Adebelt or Mondesi for the out, but another RBI from McCutcheon as Philly tops KC 7-0. Now the last time the St. Louis Blues made the Western Conference Finals, it was 2016. They had just beaten the Stars in a Game 7, and they matched up with the Sharks. Now in 2019, the Blues again edge out the Stars in 7, only to meet San Jose once more. This time, however, hoping for a different result. Game 1 in San Jose tonight. With a shot at the Stanley Cup Finals looming in the distance, but not a great start for the Blues. Three minutes in, Petrangelo knocked down, Sharks take the puck. Nyquist going to slide it over to Logan Couture for the easy finish and a 1-0 lead. Wouldn't last long though, six minutes later, Blues on the counter, Tarasenko leaves for Schwartz, puts one on net, Joel Edmondson there for the touch goal, and we got a tie game. Schwartz will get into trouble though in this period. Called for a clear slash here, Blues forced into a five on three, 15 seconds left in that, and Joe Pavelski bats it in. 
Sharks cruise from there for a 6-3 win to open the series. The good news, though, I talked about the 2016 series of similar teams. The Blues actually won that game before losing the series, so hopefully losing this one means a little different history track. Okay, well, I'm going to stick with you on that. Yeah, don't don't write it down. Don't, <laughs> don't, I'm not promising it. Okay, we won't hold you to it. Don't hold me, I'm just saying it's possible. <laughs> and it is. You're absolutely right. Thank you so much, Matt.